So I've been accused of being the king of clickbait on this channel. This is not clickbait. And by the way, if you don't have an intriguing title to get people to click on your video, then you're just going to get lost in the fray. That's the way our minds work. But this video here is not clickbait. Um, what happened yesterday with Directive 49 is going to change the way you attend events or maybe don't ever attend them ever again on a large scale, at least here in Vegas forever. What's going on guys? My name is Steven. I'm not leaving Las Vegas. I'm a Vegas blogger. This is my fourth attempt to make this video. Yeah, fourth attempt. Look, there are a couple of major changes happened yesterday and I feel a responsibility to get this video right and nail it. Whether or not you can attend an event right now is going to completely rest on your vaccination status. Steve Sisolak signed into law Directive 49 yesterday. We're going to get into that directive right now and tell you what it really means for you. And if you have a big event planned, then I highly suggest that you watch this video with uh, both ears open and no distractions because it's going to get messy and I'll try my best to explain it. If you guys like this video, like, share, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for the future notifications. We do analysis, throw in some opinion, but it's always balanced. We don't go political on here. Steve Sisolak is our governor of the state of Nevada. He's just a human being. He did some things during the shutdown I disagreed with. He did some things I agreed with. You take the good in a person, you take the bad, right? You take the good, you take the bad, you take them both, and then you have Steve Sisolak and every other person on the planet. So we're going to dig into that. If you guys like us, leave us a comment below. I have a feeling this is going to be a very divisive type of comment section, which is totally fine. I respect your opinion. may not agree with it all the time, and you may not agree with me, but if we respect each other, we learn things, and that's the way the world works. If you guys like this video, also check out our sponsor, Pinai Magazine. They bought the entire side of the billboard at Resorts World for an entire year. Pretty amazing. One of the largest resort, well, largest billboard in North America. And uh, they are sponsoring our channel. It's a Filipina women's magazine, 370 pages. It's going to be going out uh, next month or later on this week. It's going to be available on Amazon and in hard print internationally. And that's uh, guys will like it for the pinup models. Ladies will like it for the ladies stuff. And Filipinos will love it because it's your culture. And speaking of Filipinas, my wife makes these masks from VegasFaceMask.com. Another way to support us. Two for 25. She cuts them out from scratch. This is called Vegas Poker. We bought all the fabric we could. It's still only a few yards. There's no more of this. But we have 60 different designs. If you guys like the masks, get a mask. If you don't like masks and you have to wear one, get one from us, VegasFaceMasks.com. Goes around the back of your head, not your ears. Doesn't have any nose wire. Easy to breathe through. Yeah, it's the best mask you'll ever need. Doesn't fall down your face either. I've worn these for a long time live streaming. Don't, don't fall down your face. Don't have to fidget with it. All right, so Directive 49. Man, oh man, oh man. Okay, so... I'm not going to try to sound morose in this video, but I think this is going to be severely damaging to the state and to the local economy. And I'll kind of give you a reasoning for that. But what is it exactly? Well, it's simple enough. Directive 49 states that um, events with over 4,000 attendees who are ticketed events, meaning that not just anybody can walk through, who have a fixed date, meaning they might be a few days at a convention, or it might be one time for a few hours at a sporting event or a concert, if their event uh, operator is going to require vaccines, if that's the case, then uh, the event operator uh, will be allowed to let people in without masks if they have a full dose of a vaccine. So far, that sounds normal. Lots of different places are doing this. That's nothing unusual. Then we get to the half vaccinated people or partially vaccinated as they're called. Partially vaccinated people will have to wear a mask. Okay. But then unvaccinated people, they're not allowed in the event at all, period. They're expecting uh, the state of Nevada for the event operator to coordinate with some kind of third party to track people's vaccination statuses. And that's a problem in and of itself. But there's going to have to be some kind of a third party involvement because the states don't coordinate with each other showing vaccination statuses. There's no federal database in the United States. And so we're going to have to bring in a third party kind of company to do this and, and track everything. But when all that's in place, at least you can go to events without a mask if you've been fully vaccinated, right? And they're saying this is your choice. You can choose, but it's going to preclude a lot of people from coming here. Now, there are a couple of different exceptions, obviously. So kids that are too young to get vaccinated, uh, they will have to wear a mask. They don't have any one dose exception uh, 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 rules here. So if your kid is like 11 years old, then you want to go to something with your kid. No problem. Go watch the show with your kid. Kid doesn't have to do anything but wear a mask. Okay, that's one exception. Um, other exceptions are smaller capacity venues. So uh, basically, I looked it up. Shin Lim at the Mirage, just random ones. 1,265 people, masks required for the whole show, no vaccine checks. Ka, Cirque du Soleil over at the uh, MGM Grand, 
1,950 people, no vaccine requirements, just masks, okay? O over at the Bellagio. Funny thing about O, by the way, before I tell you that capacity, uh, O is the Bellagio O, so the show is called the O Show, the letter O, but it's also French-Canadian, right? So it's Cirque du Soleil, and as Celine Dion would say, it's the best show in the world. So O is E-A-U, is water in French. So it's a cool little play on words that spans two languages because O is a water show at the Bellagio. They have 1,800 seats. So no mask or no vaccine requirements, but mask requirements for the show. And also the Beatles love the one show I want to see with my wife, Sweet Caroline, 2013 people over at the Mirage. It's just random. I just picked four and said, what are those capacities? And that's what they are. So none of those will be hit by this vaccine requirement. We're talking large scale events. So Guns N' Roses over at Allegiant, 65,000 seats for Allegiant. Everything I say is 65,000 for Allegiant. Guns N' Roses, Rolling Stones, um, you know, the first Raiders game. That's going to be an actual regular season game, September 13th, Monday Night Football at home is going to be a requirement for this kind of stuff too. So I suspect we're going to have a bit of a nightmare on our hands. What about all those people that bought personal seat licenses over for the Raiders games and they now don't have a vaccine because either their doctor told them not to get one for medical reasons or they just choose not to. See, I have a vaccine. I know it's not tracked properly. I know there's no way for them to know. I have the card sitting back here yet on this uh, shelving, but when I go to the state website to type in my information, it doesn't find me. So it's kind of a mess right now. But what are those people going to do? Are they going to refund them their $20, $23,500 PSL? There's some PSLs that are $75,000 just for the personal seat license. And if you're not familiar, a personal seat license at a big venue like the LA Rams or the Las Vegas Raiders is just your rights to buy tickets. Yeah, so you're exclusive to that seat that you pick and you can buy tickets for a, an amount. So one PSL is 20000 The tickets are uh, 3500 for the year. $23,500. Are we going to be refunding that money to a person who can't get vaccinated or chooses not to? What about the 43% of people across this country that are not vaccinated or at least not fully vaccinated? See, I can't find any details and any actual data on partially vaccinated people. There seems to be only two data sets, one for fully and one for partially. And then after that, you'd have to look at all 50 different states. Tell me in the comments below, do you know this percentage of people in your state that are not uh, fully vaccinated? Those people can still come to these events, but no, Katie, bar the door. They're not going to be coming if they're not vaccinated, I guess. CES overnight has also said that they're going to require vaccines. Allegiant is going to require vaccines. Raiders, obviously, because they're at Allegiant. UNLV games will have to require them. Any event that's happening there will require them. So, man, it's, it's just, it's, a, it's, a, it's crazy. There's so many big venues in this town, the MSG Sphere. That's being opened in 2023, I believe. Uh, we have the, the MGM Grand Garden Arena. We have the Mandalay Bay uh, uh, Event Center where the Las Vegas Aces plays, 8,000 seats in that venue. And then we have the Thomas and Mack Center with, I think, 17,000 seats. The Orleans Arena with 8,000 seats. We've already lost business. Okay, they used to do the Mr. Olympia show. You know, that's the one with Arnold. Yeah, show your muscles. That was the Mr. Olympia show. That was at the Orleans Arena on the stage there. They did the expo over at the convention center. That went down to Florida last year. It stayed there for this year, and I don't think it'll be coming back. It just seems like we're losing out. I don't know. There's big stadiums and big events and big things in a lot of places. And we're going to see if we have a glut of cancellations. I'm not sure if we will. Next weekend, for example, WWE SummerSlam is happening at Allegiant, 65,000 fans. At the same time, Manny Pacquiao uh, is going to be fighting over at the MGM Grand Garden Arena, another 20,000 seats. There will be nights when there's another 20,000 seats at T-Mobile taken up. It's over 100,000 people in a single night, and if 43% of them, or at least whatever, I think it's like 30% of them in Nevada, for example, not vaccinated at all, if 30% of people can't go, are they willing to hedge their bets that they can draw that many people who are at least partially or fully vaccinated? That's a big bet. And I wonder what's going to happen going forward. And it's kind of scary going forward. And it kind of blows my mind. I never thought we'd get to this point. I kept saying it in live streams. There's no way. There's no how. But here it is. It's in front of us. Tell me in the comments below what you think about this entire situation. It's kind of a strange one. We're going to have to see if business and private industry adjust to it by taking their business elsewhere or if private industry and business is all on board because if they are, it won't really matter. You see, if, 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 if in Texas they decide to do the same thing, then everybody in Texas is just going to be looking at each other going, well, I guess we might as well not bid on Texas for the events in Vegas to move there because what's the difference? It makes no difference. But there's always hope. 
There's always hope that this Delta variant goes away. There's always hope that eventually we hit herd immunity. And there's always hope that we eventually get to a point where things go back to more normal than it was before. But as I said earlier, things ain't ever getting back to 100% normal. And you might not even want them to. I don't know. You tell me in the comments below. I know I want normal, but do you really want the dirtier version of the world that we used to live in? That's a question I have. At least now we're all up on our hygiene, sanitizing our hands and washing them properly after using the bathroom. I guess. Anyways, that's my video and I'm sticking to it. We're at the 10 minute 30 second mark here. My name is Steven. I'm not leaving Las Vegas. I'm a Vegas blogger. Check out our channel sponsor, Pinai Magazine. And you guys might like them. Also, VegasFaceMask.com if you guys like the masks. This is a great pattern, by the way. It's one of my favorites. I'm glad I, I'm glad I have one before they all go away. Uh, yeah, look at that. Snazzy stuff. All right. Anyways, that's the time of the video. I say three, two, one, click. Are you ready? Just say three, two, one, and click.